Hello everyone, how are you guys today? I I need to get in Christmas mode, but this has been weighing on my mind and I need to get it out to this group because I know you guys are super active in your building. Um, honestly, I've talked to my leaders about this I um, and I'm trying to verbalize the importance of understanding um, dynamic compression and what it can do for you and your business. And as I've been working on redoing the business overview video um, that I will be posting into uh, the members section, I just thought I would jump in here. Not that you guys need to be on here live, but you might watch the recording and it might really help you um, um, be able to strategically plan for your business better. If I had understood dynamic compression from the beginning, <laughs> I would have been very different in how I built um, I, my team structure. If I had understood uh, that, that my mind was caught up thinking I understood dynamic compression when I really didn't. I didn't understand the unilevel part of our compensation plan. And some of you guys I've spoken to this uh, personally and um, many of you I haven't got to. So before I sort of switch my brain off from doTERRA stuff, which is um, very challenging for me at times, and go into Christmas mode, um, I need to get this out there because I feel like somebody needs to hear it, and it, this might be really helpful to you guys as um, you go into the holiday time, okay? Um, I don't know, because I'm live, so we can't talk about that right now. What Christmas gift did I get for Dad? That's a great question. I, we're not going to talk about it right now. Shut the door, please. Thanks. Okay, so let me. Um, I'm gonna pull up a, a chart because this is this is my my thought. Um, over the last two months, as I've been grasping this idea of dynamic compression, that honestly most uh, even very successful builders uh, don't understand what dynamic compression is and what it can, how it can impact their um, their growth, and. And so we, we hit these walls over and over and over again, or we make all these exceptions changes, or we try to do account transfers, or, or um, we're, just, we're just trying to shore up some weak structure. We think it's so weak and fragile, and we are feeling very helpless to people that don't want to build with us. And, and uh, anyway, just a little bit, be feeling struggle, struggle, okay? And I don't think we need to feel in struggle. Uh, doTERRA has provided us an amazing compensation plan and if we understand how to work that, hi guys, thanks for jumping on, um, then we won't feel like a victim. We won't feel like we're victim to the way people choose to build or not build with us. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One, doTERRA has done us a gift by providing this whole distinction between wellness advocate and wholesale customer. This is like the best gift and you know the the 90 day premiere move is going away and this is the thing that will replace it is going to help you build a solid team really not just settle for people that just want to place a 100 PV LRP order and try to build under them and then feel stuck by that but to really go out there and identify who wants to be the customer and who wants to be the builder it's a gift for you to be more clear in looking in what you're looking for and asking people more clearly what they want to do with you in your business. And now that you have Prelete, it's that awesome tool that can be that extra piece of leverage to say, I know how to get you there, work with me. I was listening to Tony Robbins um, speak at the GoPro Recruiting Mastery event. Um, I got the recordings of it and I was listening to him and he goes up to this person, you know, and he's saying, why would I wanna work with you? You know, tell me why why you want to work with me and uh, why I want to work with you. And the guy's like, well, because I'm the best in my business, right? And I'm sitting there thinking, no, it's because you have to show, you have to say it's because I can help you get what you want. That's why you want to work with me because I help you get what you want. And and that's really what we are providing people when we use the uh, take them through prelete when we invite them to do the business with us. Is because we're telling them, I can help you get what you want. So don't you want to be a part of my team? Because I know how to help you get there. So um, I think that's a really big thing is to understand that dynamic compression and the compensation plan is your your tool. It's, it's for you. Um, let me pull up my, uh, my PowerPoint that I was working on last night. Um, because we all know, if you're all in here, you all know how the compensation plan works. Uh, is how we we have five different ways we get paid right we get we get retail sales we get um, 
fast start bonus and we get power of three bonus. So it is of my recent opinion that people who focus on the power of three as a way to build a solid team are people who are not builders or leaders are people who are sharers. And so if you're trying to like pull your hair out thinking, how can I shore up my power of three? I'm going to ask you to totally change your mindset and say, I am not a sharer. I'm a builder. I'm a leader. And leaders don't build for power of three. Leaders don't build for sharers, sharers and users build for power of three. That helps them supplement their income. But you are here because you're a leader. You are in this group because you're a, um, you're a builder. You're serious about building your business. And a builder builds to rank. They do not build to power of three. And they do not build for just that, that structure bonus because that is a weak way to build. The, um, you're always going to be filling gaps and in holes and it's never going to be solid for you. So now that you guys understand that, identify yourselves as a builder, please don't build to power of three. Okay. Don't build to power of three, build for the rank that you're aiming for. And this is the other thing I realized I was, I was studying and trying to understand what dynamic compression was. And, um, gratefully I have access to the diamond page and some really smart people there who have shared how they understand dynamic compression works. Um, and as I've studied those videos and, and I've learned and grasped this whole new idea, it's a whole new paradigm guys of how dynamic compression can work to your advantage. Um, I, I was like, why didn't I understand this before? Why didn't I even think to ask? And I, I did, I thought I knew it. I really did think I knew it. So, um, but because of that, now I look at my team and I tell my builders, do not build for everything you do to structure your team. It should be for the, in the purpose of building a presidential diamond team. Don't build just for diamond. Um, because think about it, when you hit diamond, you have four silver leaders, but when you hit presidential, you have six platinum leaders. There is a big difference between the mindset and the stability of a silver versus a platinum leader. There's a huge difference in that, in, in what it takes to get to platinum versus what it takes to get to silver. Okay. And because you're here, you want to be not diamond. You want to be presidential diamond. Okay. That's where the lifestyle that you've always dreamed of happens isn't with presidential diamonds. So don't settle. You build to rank and you build for presidential. Now, some of you are like, but I don't have very many people to place deep on my team. I, I don't know how to do that. Well, I'm going to show you the ideal way to go about it. And then just keep that in mind. As you work towards those higher ranks, you're going to have a smarter strategy and how you build and structure your team. Okay. So, um, let me pull up this, this slide. Okay. I'm going to flip the screen around. Oops. Oh, you get to see like, love that, right? Yeah. That's where the stash of laundry goes. Cause I'm ignoring it. Okay. So traditionally when we go in to understand our unilevel commission, I'm going to pull up this. Where's my chart? There's another chart here. This is what you guys see, right? And sorry, my hands are shaking. I don't know why. Um, I'm super excited. Anyway, when traditionally you look at this chart and you're like, okay, so I'm paid seven levels deep. And these are the requirements from personal PV. These are the requirements for overall volume. And these are the requirements for structured legs. Okay. So typically we look at this and, and that's all we see. Well, if you look down here and when it says dynamic compression, these are these arrows that point and start with the rank of manager over all the way up to presidential diamond. Okay. This is the section I want you to focus on with me just here. Okay. These are great leadership pools. I love them. They're awesome. But this is where your residual income lies. Okay. And because of that, um, lots of times in the past, this is what you're probably were told when you were, or when you explain that, um, you know, level commission to people, you're like, don't worry, you get paid seven levels down, right? What people think when they think seven levels down is that everybody on the first level, I get 2%, everybody on the third level, I get to, you know, or second level, I get, sorry, first, second, you know, first to seventh, I get 2% on this level, 3% on this level, five, you know, 5% on this five, six, six, and seven, right? So you think from the top down, but unfortunately that is not, well, fortunately that is not how our, our compensation plan works. We don't pay this way. We don't pay top down. Okay. This is not how it works. So most of you are probably thinking, wait, that that's what I was told. And that's all I've known. 
You're right. It is, you, that's how we understood it to be. But because we have a dynamic compression, it actually pays out differently. So let me find my other slide. Um, as I want to explain this, because I think it's really important that you understand dynamic compression. Okay, so dynamic compression is actually paid on every single order paid up seven ranks. Okay, it's not paid down, it's paid up. All right, this is so, so important. Okay, so for example, I, you know, somebody could potentially be paid out on an order that's on their 17th level. All right. They, they could be paid out deep within their team. You're not just paid out on the first seven levels. And this is how it works. Okay. So there's, as you guys can see on this chart here, there are wellness advocate, manager, director, executive, elite, premier, and silver, and then, you know, everybody else. Okay. So as you can see, there's the levels that correspond to each rank. Well, you have 2%, 3%, 5%. So wellness advocates gets two, manager gets three, director gets five, executive is also another five, elite is another six, premier is a six, and a silver is a seven, okay? So because of that, I put on this chart, this is how much the, each rank will get paid. And because, again, the principle here is that every order that pl is placed in your downline will pay out seven ranks going up. It's not paid out every level, it's out, paid out every rank, okay? And it's going up. So I put together this diagram and hopefully it makes sense to you guys. But these are the levels on your team, okay? So you might be up, you, you'll, we'll say you're the diamond, okay? You're right here, all right? And then these are your first seven levels, but then these are the next seven levels, okay? Let's say an order was placed on your 14th level. Now, how would that pay out according to dynamic compression, okay? Well, how it pays out is that it goes looking for qualified ranks to pay out the, the appropriate percentage rate, okay? So the first qualified rank is a, um, a wellness advocate who meets that 50, if you guys look here, 50 PV. They only have to have a 50 PV order to get the 2% on that order, okay? So here we have um, the first level up above this order that nobody placed an order, but the second level somebody did, okay? I, mean, I shouldn't use levels, but the next order up. This is up the tree, okay? From the bottom of the order up. Um, so this 55 PV order qualified this person to become what is called a wellness advocate on the compensation plan, and they get 2%. So they get 2% of that 200 PV order, all right? So now that that wellness advocate has been paid, we can cross that off and let's move. To, we're now looking for a manager to pay out a 3% unilevel check to, okay? So let's go look and where's the next manager in, in, in the, the upline listing of that directory of that order. So we're gonna go, oh, here's the person they qualified for a manager and they have a 100 PV order, okay? Remember to get the payout for that percentage, they have to have that qualifying 100 PV order. Now they're a manager because not they have met the requirements for a manager, which is 500 OV on their team. So they're now getting 3% of that 200 PV order because they met that qualification, okay? Now you have, we cross off the manager and we now go look at director. So who qualifies for director? They're gonna get 5%, so let's see. We keep going up the tree, oh, this person, Right above them actually qualified for the director. They have 125 PV order, so they get the commission and now they get 5%, all right? Now the person above them, they didn't place an order. And even if it was anything under, like, uh, it, it doesn't really matter. If it was under 100, they wouldn't get the commission either, okay? Now we're looking for, since we met the director's requirement, we're looking for the next person, now executive. An executive is qualified with a 2000 OV and 100 PV personal order. So let's look and see. Um, this person has a 100 PV personal order and they meet the qualification, we're going to say, of an executive meeting their whole downline is uh, 2000 OV. Now, not just this straight downline, but the wide of it, okay? So the executive's going to get 5% now, all right? Now we're looking for the next person to get paid. That's an elite. So we're going to keep going up and it's uh, this person is an elite. Their OV is 3,000. They have a personal order of over 100, 100 PV, 150 they have here. So they're going to qualify to get the 6% of this particular 200 PV order. Okay? Am I making sense? I hope I'm making sense. Now, these people above them, this person is also an elite. 
but we've already paid out the elite. See, this person earned it. So this person doesn't actually get paid on this particular order um, because somebody else was already paid at the 6% for that, okay? This person didn't place an order, so they don't get anything. But what we're looking for after elite is we're looking for a qualified premier for that month. Somebody who's placed a 100 PV personal order, right? Who has 5,000 OV and two qualified executives underneath them, okay? Well, this person does. This person qualifies for Premier, so they're going to get paid out 6% on this particular 200 PV order, all right? And then this person above them, they're also Premier, but they don't get paid on it because somebody was already paid out on that 6%. Now, we're looking for the 7%. Who's going to be the silver that gets the 7%? Now, this person above them was a qualified silver for that month, and they get the 7% on this 200 PV order, all right? So I hope that this is making sense that every single order is paid out on all qualified ranks up the tree. Now let's say um, this silver was actually a, a diamond um, and they just happened to be in the right placing of the tree. They would actually get the 7% because they obviously as a diamond meet the qualifications for a silver and they would receive that. So it doesn't really matter um, for you to get paid uh, for Unilevel, you have to meet some of these requirements. Now, it doesn't matter that they're in your first seven levels. They can be deeper in your team and you can still get paid out for them, all right? Now, what does that mean for you when it, it comes to placements, all right? How does that work? Well, typically, when we do placements, um, we think, oh, we just got to keep them as close to us on the... Oh, there we go. Okay, so when you are actually placing people, the smarter place would be to place them not on your first three levels, but on your fourth level. And why is that the case? Let me show you, okay? Let's go back to this. If you're building and structuring your team for presidential diamond, what happens is um, if you're presidential diamond, you need six platinums who each have their three silvers who have their three elites, okay? So this is the first, this is the platinum is the first, I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so platinum is the first level, silvers are the second level, and elites are the third level. If you place your personal enrollments below those elites, what that is helping you do is shore up your team so you will never have to transfer the enrollment of your people. That means that every you're helping that elite become an elite, you're helping the silver become a silver, and you're helping the platinum become a platinum so you can be a presidential diamond, okay? As long as you're placing people under others who are doing a 100 PV order, um, you know, consistently, you, and you maintain the enrollment of that person, you are in a safe zone, okay? If you don't, um, you would probably be, become in a position of where you would have to require or they would want you to transfer the enrollment. Well, Let's go back to this chart and let me just show you guys. There's something called the, this over here. Um, let's see here. Where is it show you? Um, right here. Performance pool shares. Now this becomes in the leadership pools and these can, these can be really good bonuses. But for you earn an additional share, which can be anywhere from like, um, you know, $1,000 to like $12,000, depending on what rank you are in the diamond pools. Um, earn additional shares for each new personally enrolled elite or premier, okay? So as a diamond leader, if you, you know, you're building your team and you're putting your enrollments deeper on your team on the fourth and below levels, when you're not going to be put in a position where you need to transfer that enrollment immediately for you to hit your ranks, which means that you can get those performance pool bonuses for their first time that they hit the rank and you can keep that and invest it back into your team or keep it for yourself. Those, that's a really smart way to structure is to put people deeper on your team, okay? So going back to this chart, you're going to place your personal enrollments deeper on your team so that you are never put in a compromised position where you have to transfer the enrollment of a person or even a potential builder to somebody else for them to hit their rank, okay? Because this is your business. You run it for you, and the, this is the biggest rank that you want to have, right? Presidential diamond, and any time you duplicate, even if you had triple presidential diamond, that is the rank you're building for. So you have platinum, silver, and elites, which is one, two, three, okay? That's why you're going to put your personal enrollments under on the fourth level, and shore up each of those elite legs to silver to platinum, okay? 
who's putting a sad face here? Who's putting a sad face? Because <laughs> this is awesome news, you guys. This is this means that you can transform the way you build your team and structure it from now moving forward. I know a lot of my leaders are like, oh, had I just known this, like when I started building, I would be so much smarter. And that's why you're learning this now. Because the faster you help your builders succeed, to be want, be excited to share, excited to build. If you help people succeed, the faster and co more committed they are to your team, and that helps you, all right? Let's say that you have some weak legs. I mean, there's so many different scenarios that we can talk through here, and maybe we'll jump on a Zoom one day and we'll do this together as a group. Because if, if you understand this, then you turn your mind from a scarcity. Um, oh, Bethany, you're so cute, that's fine. <laughs> Um, you turn your mind from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset because you're not so caught up in the power of three structure. Now, typically, if you did perfectly build the power of three structure, which let's remind ourselves what that looks like, right? Um, it looks like this. If you built that, you could have, you know, you, this would be a perfect gold structure. And I don't know if you'd want to. Anyway, that's great. Gold is fun and is great. But I want you to be presidential diamonds. And so you're looking at each of your builders on your front line or wherever they are, whether they're here, here, or here, or on your fourth or your eighth level. Anytime you have a builder, you're going to put your qualified enrollments on the fourth level of your qualifying leader. That helps them. It helps you. You keep the enrollment. You get the fast start on all of your enrollments. Um, they can, if, if, and then honestly, if they are really serious about power of three and they can't just give it up, then teach your people, teach all your builders to build their 50 power of three, just build their 50, just build their 50. And if they're a user or a sharer or even a builder, just build your 50 and duplicate the $50 bonus. Don't, try to force people to duplicate the 250 or the 1500. Just focus on rank, don't focus on power of three. And and I, I have to eat humble pie because a year ago, um, not a year ago, uh, a year and a half ago probably, I went to my leaders and I said, I know we're all just trying to skate, you know, scrimp by, this is so frustrating, let's just focus on building power of three. And that's what we focused on for a time. And we were just trying to get, you know, these small bonuses instead of focusing on building deeper and for rank, we were building shallower and for power of three. And I regret that so much because I led my team astray because I didn't understand dynamic compression, okay? I really believe power of three is just for the users and the sharers, and you are not that. You are a builder, so you need to build for rank. So you get really clear, and even if you're thinking, oh, presidential's too far away, this is not where I wanna be, I don't really, I mean, yes, that could be too far away for your mental belief right now, but you will get there where it's like what you want, and that's the only thing you're gonna settle for, and if that's gonna be it, then you need to be placing your personal enrollments on your fourth or deeper level under your qualifying builders, okay? Your qualifying leaders. Um, I really love what Rod Richardson said at a presidential pursuit the other day. He said, I teach my builders that they find their builders and I find mine builders. Don't ever give anybody the idea that they are entitled to your um, providing somebody for them. Everybody's responsible for their own business. And the way that you can help your team and help your builders is not by giving them the wellness advocates to build under, but by building deeper on their team. That shores up and gives them more unilevel and that helps them build more confidence. Um, and, and the income will come over time and consistency. So again, back to dynamic compression. This is not because we're paid out seven levels down. It's because we're paid out seven ranks up. Okay, we're paid every rank that qualifies will be paid out on every single order on your downline. And this is why increasing your unilevel, your, your loyalty rewards or any orders on your team, taking your, your team volume right now and growing from that, that is going to be a powerful way of increasing your revenue right now. Um, I will... my. All right, so that I really, I know that some of you probably are like, what, I didn't understand any of that. And that's sort of my point today. I wanna shake your paradigm so hard that you are forced to learn something new because most of us think in old patterns. I didn't ask my upline who understands this. I didn't ask her about 
dynamic compression because I thought I already understood it. And I was like, well, I know that you get, I, yeah, everybody says that's the gold mine of this company is Unilevel. I didn't understand it strategically to put it to my full advantage. And so I want to train you guys to do that differently. <laughs> so you do it differently for your leaders so that you generate more success more quickly for not just yourself, but for them. Because when they're successful, you're successful. When you help them know how, know and feel like they are confident in what they're doing, you'll get what you want. So this is why you have to understand. Somebody's calling me. Um, that's why you have to understand what dynamic compression is about because it is what is going to transform your business, okay? Um, using every single body on your team, helping them want to order regularly, um, if not regularly, be in contact with your enrollments. Excuse me, this is why I love this reactivation promo from doTERRA this month because it allows you to increase your check more than you ever have probably before by maybe 20, 30% simply because you're getting them to order and then that, that order is paid out for, for every rank going seven, seven levels up, okay? For anybody who meets that qualification, it will be paid out. Um, so I hope that you guys understand a little bit more um, and it would be a great discussion to have in this group. I maybe we'll do our next uh, uh, powwow. We can talk about dynamic compression um, in January, and things aren't so crazy with the holiday, and uh, really help you guys feel confident in utilizing that for your team. Okay. So Joan, you asked. So in a nutshell, place my enrollments on the fourth level of a qualified builder. Yes, of your qualifying leg builder, exactly. Put them on the fourth level so you don't ever have to transfer enrollment, shore up all that volume, and um, solidify your own um, platinum legs so you'll be presidential diamond. Exactly. Okay? Not too hard, right? Um, and I, I hope that that just simple paradigm shift will make your business grow way more in 2017 than anything else because... Um, you know how to structure, you know how to place. And and that's why the gift of this wholesale customer thing from doTERRA is so awesome. Because they, in the past, we would place somebody and we're like, what if they want to do this as a business and then they're stuck there? That's why I enroll them as a customer. And if they want to do this as a business, prep them. Prep them for that day when they can transfer and you can place them wherever else you want. You don't have to place them under that leg. You can place them somewhere else. You get to move them wherever you want on, the t on your entire team. So um, doTERRA's really just given this, this really lucky ducky thing. So I'm excited for you guys to have an amazing 2017. I'm excited to, you know, the race is on between me and Gina Truman. <laughs> she's my enroller. And I tell her, I'm going to beat you in presidential, Gina. And she's like, you go for it, Tim. But, you know, we just joke about it. So I hope that you guys have huge goals because you can, you can reach them, especially if you feel and get into that mindset of I am not a victim to my business. I'm not a victim to other people. Nobody is an obstacle. Nobody is an obstacle to my success. And um, you get to create that. So what if you don't have... Um, it's really nice when you have active leaders and business builders, but when you, this is sort of the other key thing. I was listening to Haley Hobson talk about this at Presidential Pursuit, and I loved this analogy. She said, I was eight levels below my nearest diamond leader. Nobody really above me was doing anything with the business. And so when she started building and was moving through and growing really fast, all of a sudden, everybody between her and her diamond leader started turning on LRPs. And because they started turning on their 100 PV LRP so they could get paid by what Haley was doing below them, um, they also hit a cap with how much they could be paid because the deeper ranks, which are like Premier uh, gets 6% and Silver gets 7%, if you don't have the structure in place, the wide, you know, the three qualified leaders, you don't get paid the bigger percentages. And so um, they have to build their teams to get to that place to get a piece of Haley's pie, right? What that is, why that's awesome is that now by tap rooting or placing your people deeper on your team, you can have this blossoming go wide because people want a piece of what you're doing. Now that's maybe not the smartest way to say it, but your team will grow because you place people deeper on your team. And especially if you nurture them and strengthen those relationships and help them build a successful business. Now, um, many people... 
um, they they are not really, they, they hesitate to place people deeper in their team just because they used to, it's the former way of believing how we build our teams and how we, we do that. I, I thought it was really interesting and informative that many qualifying um, leaders for Diamonds and Above are not on their first level, nor their second, nor their third. They're on their fifth, maybe even down to their eighth level. And that is okay, you guys. That's okay. The more the more activity you generate with depth, the more it will come back to you in Unilevel. And that is the residual income of this business. So please don't get caught in the power of three trap. Shift your mindset away from I need and must have that $250 or $1,500 bonus. Start focusing on building for rank and go on an enrolling binge as I tell my leaders. Let's enroll a ton of people and place them d deeper in our teams and um, shore up the volume so that you can reach those ranks. Don't Just don't even think about Power 3. Just don't even think about it. Just, that's not for you because you're a leader and you're a builder. And um, Power 3 is for users and shares to help them compensate to offset their, their money, but not necessarily for you because your focus is totally different. So I... Um, I am super excited. Thank you, Laura. I hope that really helps you. And um, hopefully we can talk about this more. I just want to hear more of your thoughts because um, I've talked over this multiple times with my leaders as they try to change their paradigm and their structure and their placement and everything about it. Um, when it comes to applying it, it's one thing. Um, versus just knowing it. So I hopefully you guys will start applying it with some of your enrollments this month and into January and really give yourself that confidence of, I know how to build my team in a solid way and you can help your leaders do the same. So Merry Christmas. I'm going to sign off. I'm going to really try to check out. I have so much Christmas stuff to do and I have wanted to get this out of my head into our group and um, hopefully it will help you guys um, make a really solid new year coming for you. So take care guys. Love you. Thank you again for everything you're doing and sharing pre -late. And, um, I just am blown away by your excitement and generosity. You guys are awesome. And, uh, thank you for being a part of this journey with me, helping me fulfill my dream of being a champion of women entrepreneurs and helping women see themselves as, as leaders of leaders. That's, it's so awesome to be a part of this together. And I appreciate you Ride in this ride with me. You guys are awesome. So, all right. Take care. We'll talk to you guys. Have a great uh, Christmas holiday and a happy new year. And uh, we'll be back in January. Okay? See ya.